Version 3.2.0 Redesign of the Envision app Hello everyone, my name is Farcon. I am the product manager and designer at Envision and today I'm going to be talking about the new redesign on the Envision app which is available on version 3.2.0 both on iOS and Android and for the first time ever also on iPadOS and of the Android tablets. The last few months we've been really busy and especially the iOS and Android team to reimagine how the features can be used on the Envision app. So there's no more switching between different tabs and finding which feature belongs to which tab, but it's all part of one tab right now. With this redesign, we are focused on voiceover and talkback users, making sure that you can easily switch between the features and you also require less swipes to either change a preference or activate a certain feature. We also focus on personalization. So right now in version 3.2.0, you can hide features from the main menu that you don't use too often and you can reorder exactly which feature you'd like to be on the first item. Besides that, we've added help screens to most of the features where you can learn more about how a certain feature can be used and we will add more content to this in the future. Finally, we have also enhanced our brand's consistency. So to keep everything in line with our social media and website presence, you will also see this now back in the Envision app. And as always, any update comes with speed improvements and minor bug fixes, which you will always find in the newest version. So before doing a deep dive into iOS and Android and how the menu changes from what you're used to, I would definitely recommend to already go to the App Store or Play Store and download the free Envision app, which is on version 3.2.0 and make sure you have this newest version. Let's start with iOS. So right now I have the Envision app open and I'm going to enable Voice over first. I have opened the Envision app, and immediately what you'll notice on the bottom part that you'll see three Envision tabs. Selected tab, tab one of three. Instantly read text, scan documents, or open the library. And if you swipe to the left right now, more features menu button adjustable. Double tap to start more features menu. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. And as you hear, the voiceover hint already speaks it out. But this is the element where you have now all of the features. So instead of needing to do another swipe to the left to select the scan tags or the instant tags from batch scan, etc., this is the only element that you require to swipe between the features. And as you just hear, it spoke up more features menu, and I can adjust it by doing a one finger swipe up or down. So I'm going to do a one finger swipe up, more features menu, up more down actually, file. and I'm back in the import file. So by doing a simple swipe up and down, I can now switch easily library. between the features that I have in my main menu. Find objects, scan text, instant text, instant text, instant text. So as you hear, the first item in this features menu is instant text. Scan text. I do a one finger swipe up, I'm at scan text, and I can in this way easily switch between those features. And when I want to use a feature, instant text. just as usual, I'll do a one finger double tap. Selected, instant text. So when I Adjustable. select the same element again, I can simply disable the same function. So what else is different right now is that I can swipe up Find object. Like import more features menu. and there's a more features menu. So if I do a double tap on more features menu, back to main menu. Adjustable. it comes back to the back to main menu button. But if I swipe forward detect up again, colors. I'm at detect colors. Describe scene. Teach and vision. Find so I'm doing a swipe up and actually all of the features that I'm Maybe use sometimes, maybe use like, you know, once in a while. I, I can put them all in the more features menu. Scan, and I can kind of hide them in the more features menu. Once I'm done using that feature, scan, find, teach and describe swipe teach down, back to main menu. double tap on back to main menu, more and I'm back in the menu. main menu. Adjustable. So in this way, you have a really like a division between your main features that you'd like to use on the Envision app and the more features that you might want to use. So if I go to tab settings right now, settings, selected, settings, tab, three of menu structure, button. on the fourth item, there's menu structure. If I do a one finger double tap of menu structure, Main features, heading, hide insta instant tags. So right now there's a bunch of different features. Let's say if there is find objects and I'd like hide to remove that from the, from the main menu, menu I can remove it. Hide scan text from the main menu. Hide and now it's the in the menu. more features button. menu. I can go back. Back button, menus, tab bar, tab, selected, tab, tab, one, more features menu, button, adjust, more features menu, import file, library, scan tag, instant text. And as you hear, I only have instant text, scan text, library, and import file in the main menu right now, and I just hit the find instant object. Instant text, button, adjustable. 
Double tap to start instant text. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. That is it for how you use the new features on the Envision app with VoiceOver. I'm going to turn VoiceOver off right now, simply show how it works without VoiceOver or for people who might use it with dynamic type. So for that as well, I'm going to turn on the screen size. I'm gonna put it to 310%. And if I go back to the Envision app, what you'll notice, whoops, is that the buttons are of course much bigger and you can easily swipe right and left to select the feature that you'd like to use. So also, if I hover my finger over the bottom part, I can see on which tab I am. So I'm in the App tab, and in the App tab, there are all the features that I'd like to use. Save for more features menu, I can easily swipe between all of the features that I'd like to use, and there are big buttons, so you can easily click on them and immediately use them. Just to also show you what I meant with the uh, information screen, so let's say if I click on Import File, that is now a separate feature. I can, on the right top, there's an info screen, I can tap on it and this will give a little bit more information about the import files, what you can do with it and what it is. So that is it for iOS. Now let's switch to Android. So right now I'm using an Android phone and I have the Envision app opened and TalkBack enabled. Uh, I am in the bottom tab and as you notice here as well, Classes, tab settings, tab three of three. there's only three tabs Double instead tab of select. five right now. Selected. App, and once tab, I'm in the app tab, I can select the feeds that I'd like to have. So instead of having all different tabs, I only have one tab. So if I go to the instant text instant right now, text button out of list. so you can Double swipe through all select. of the features by going to the right. Stand text button, envision library button, import files button, scan barcode button, describe scene button, finding objects button. So what you'll notice the first time when you download this new version of the Envision app on Android is that all of the features are going to be in this main tab called app. Well, what I can do settings, is I can go to app, settings, settings, selected, menu structure, in and then there's an option called menu structure. Up. In the menu structure, what I can do is I can hide features that I don't like to use or that I maybe don't use too often. So what I can do is I can go to detect colors, which I might not use. I'm going to do double tap to hide, hide it. Find, finding objects. Let's also hide the finding hide, objects feature find people and find main. people as well. So I have now instant, instant text, text, scan text, and vision library. library. I'm going double to move up to the activate. import files button. So right now the menu should show instant text, scan text, import files, then the Envision library. Let me also get rid of the scan barcode and also from the main menu. describe scene. Instant text from the main menu So now I have four features in the main menu. If I go back, navigate account, app, app, selected. and now I'm in the back in the app screen. So if I now swipe to the left, menu structure button. So right now, what you're hearing is the menu structure button, Envision library, button, Envision library, import files button, scan text button, instant text button. So in the app screen, now I only have four scan applications, menu structure button, and the menu structure Double button. To activate. So by besides going to the settings, I can also simply click on the menu structure, navigate up, navigate and up. I can select Detect which feature I'd like to have in the main navigate menu up. and go back. Instant text button. Additionally, what is great about this new redesign on Android is that I can activate a feature and all of the other features will be hidden and this is really easy when you're swiping through the different uh, preferences so you're not being confused with all of the different features that are there so let me do that with for instance import, import files. files if I button. do a one finger double tap double right tap. now import file help button I have the inf uh, tap to activate. I have the help uh, button which I talked about earlier so you can tap here and see what kind of information there is about the import file if I swipe to the right importing files from glasses import files Import image, import files button. Right Double now I'm in the activate. import files button. So previously when you would swipe right, selected app tab one of three. You would image, actually three end up in the other features. So you will go through all of the different features and then end up in the tab screen. But right now all you have selected is import files, so that's the only feature that's activated. Import files button out of list. So I'm gonna do a one Double finger tap. double tap. And now I'm back in the main menu with instant text, instant scan text, text and button. all of the features that I have. Double tap to activate. I'm going to turn off talk back, off talk back on Android and I'm going to the settings to quickly also here make the type a bit larger. So this is great again for people who are using the Envision app with dynamic type. And as you see, very big buttons that you can swipe through and easily select which feature you'd like to use. Click on the menu structure. I can say I'd like to have the, you know, find people and finding objects as well in the menu structure click back, go to app, and what you'll see here is all of the features that you'd like to use in the order that you'd like to have. 
So in this video, I quickly explained a little bit about the new redesign on version 3.2.0. We will in the future definitely make more videos to explain much more about the Amazon app and dive deeper in all of the different features that we have. If you have anything that you'd like more help with or you'd like us to explain a bit more in the Envision app regarding some features that we have or regarding some preferences, please let us know in the comments below or let us know by sending an email to support at letsenvision.com. Once again, my name is Farkan. I am the product manager and designer at Envision and I hope you have a wonderful day. Version 3.2.0 Redesign of the Envision app.